And this investment will certainly solidify Lapu-Lapu City and the province of Cebu's position as a leading driver of growth and prosperity in the country. The government, for its part, will also continue to invest in its success, which is why in 2024, the DPWH is funding about 2.9 billion pesos in infrastructure projects here in Lapu-Lapu City alone. These, these include road widening projects that will help decongest traffic along major thoroughfares such as Mactan Circumferential Road and the Mactan Airport Road. The government will also pr pr pursue major projects aimed at improving road connectivity and addressing traffic congestion, such as the ODA assistance assisted Cebu Mactan Fourth Bridge and the Lapu Lapu City Coastal Road. On a relevant note, it is fitting that we conduct this special ceremony in time for the commemoration of the 503rd anniversary of the victory at Mactan which we just celebrated earlier this morning. All the feats that we are witnessing today follow in the footsteps taken by our valiant, by our valiant hero, Datu Lapu-Lapu, and his warriors, the former of which the city where we are now is named after. We honor their memory today by also taking brave steps to develop the island and help the people who they fiercely fought for, who fiercely fought for more, than, more than 500 years ago. I am certain that we all share the same excitement and happiness to witness how Megaworld will transform the Mactan New Town into a bustling business district and a learning district. Thank you for watching Politico TV. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.